Eric Leach on Twitter. Eric Leach 757 perhaps watched Mike Shanahan's presser on uh, Wednesday where he said you were 70 to 80 percent. Eric Leach wants to know, how's your rehab going? Are you going to be ready for week one? Well, I think Coach Shanahan said he wouldn't put a number. Like, he couldn't say it was 70 to 80%. Like, he couldn't put a number on it. Isn't that correct? Something to that effect. Okay. How, how's my rehab going? Is that, is that the question? My, my rehab's going pretty well. Uh, I, I'm in there working every day. It, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be a, a quick recovery. There was, there was a minor setback, like Coach Shanahan said, uh, I believe about a month ago at this point. My goal is to be ready for week one. That's what I'm working towards. Right. But how many times a day actually are you at Redskins Park? I mean, because I know that I'll talk to you at one point and you'll be like, yeah, I just left. And then I'll speak with you later on in the afternoon. And you're right back in there in the training room. I, I get in about eight o'clock in the morning. I usually leave. Well, this was before we started with, with all the guys coming back in the offseason workouts. Now it's, it's changed a little bit because I've been in there since January. Now that the guys are back, I'm usually in there from 8 to 10.30. At 10.30, we have meetings until 12.30. Then I'm usually in there from 12.30 to about 3, 3.30. So what is that, two and a half hours and then another three and a half hours or something like that. And then at night, I have a machine that bends my leg and another machine that I hook up to it because I'm trying to get the range of motion back. It's supposed to hook up to it. It's supposed to help with the healing. So I don't know. That's another hour and a half to two hours. So it's probably like six, seven hours a day. And, and I do it all seven days of the week. So already doing two days three days now you talk about rehab rehabbing is such a general term and you just mentioned range of motion but what exactly is it that you are doing the number one thing i'm trying to do is get the range of motion back in my leg there's a lot of scar tissue that, that built up i was in a, a straight brace for six weeks so the leg doesn't bend like it like it normally should a uh, normal leg will bend to about 130 140 degrees so that's my goal um it, it, it it's 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 not fun when they got me strapped down and they're cranking on the leg and pressing on it and I'm sitting there screaming like a little girl. I just I, I had this insane urge to punch the guy the other day because <laughs> he was cranking on me and I actually told him afterwards. I'm like, dude, scoot back. I'm a little upset right now. You're doing your job and I'm not happy. You know, it just it is what it is. It's part of the process. Comparable, you talk about getting range of motion. Is this comparable to like maybe a person starting yoga for the first time and you know not very flexible? Maybe they can only reach down, touch their knees, but then after a month, two months of classes they're able to touch their toes probably like the most inflexible human being on earth trying to get back to a normal range of motion uh, it would it would be not i wasn't flexible to begin with i'm not going to claim to be but yeah that would be my comparison all right next question from w taylor 13 weightlifting question what's your squat bench and clean and who's the fastest strongest guy on the team my bench is 505 my clean the last time I did it, I did 315, I believe, seven times, which is about 400 pounds. My my squat at the moment is, uh, well, it's not much, to be honest with you. But before all of this, I did 500 pounds seven times, which equates to 600 pounds. But that was obviously a while ago. Right. Uh, oh, the, the fastest guy? Yes. Probably Robert. What was the other one? Uh, strongest? Me. Uh, <laughs> shocker. Uh, <laughs> at Scarlet Cream writes, Adam, do you think the Husker D can dominate this year? I think they can. They sure didn't last year. You give up 70 to Wisconsin. You give up, an, I believe, 45 to Georgia. I mean, I'm a black shirt. I'll always be a black shirt, but we got to play better this year. Let's go, Bo. Uh, Nicholas Fur asks a question about friend of the show. Do you ever think Bill Goldberg will have one final match and go into the WWE Hall of Fame? I want to see it. The answer is no. Uh, his relationship with the WWE is not great. That, that, that is well known. So I just don't think it's going to happen as much as I, we would both love to see it. Last question. And this one is near and dear to my heart. Maddie Roman. I like her Twitter handle too. Redskins chick 23. How do you feel about wrestling, amateur wrestling being removed from the Olympics? How do you take out amateur wrestling? It's one of the original things they did at the very first Olympics in Greece. When these things were started, this is to me, this is the epitome of what the Olympics is about. I don't know how you take it out. I'm, I'm with Kurt Angle. He's wearing those shirts, Save Wrestling in 2020. I'm with you, Kurt. Dude, we, we got to sign that petition. We got to get Kurt on to talk about that. I, I would love to, but it's it's a travesty. that Baseball is gone. Softball is gone. Uh, wrestling now? This is ridiculous. And they got golf in there? Golf is an Olympic sport. By God, Tiger Woods is going to be a gold medalist. 